Okay, we don't know if we're doing the right quest or not. Yeah. I brewed up this potion especially for Bartleby, the tree in the center of Ravenwood. He hasn't been feeling well lately. He has trouble remembering things since his eye was stolen. The headmaster gives you a bottle with a bubbling blue elixir inside. Take the potion over to Bartleby and see what happens. Take note of anything he says. I think we are. Because it does talk about Bartleby having his eye stolen, which is part of the main line. So, this is for... Uh, this is before I, uh... Must hold on to the first world oh, until... Today, oh, it's so hard for me to remember things. My mind is not as clear as it once was. You pour the headmaster's potion all around Bartleby's roots. Ah, that's good. Bartleby looks off into the distance and speaks in deep, hollow tones. Beware, Master Ambrose. Beware of Malastan. Did he just give us a prophecy? He okay. comes at night to torment me. Okay. Find the one who can defeat him. Yeah, that I one see. is the savior oh, of Lord, Wizard yeah. City. How are you doing? Pretty good. This is the quest. Oops. No, don't want to do that. <laughs> no. All right. Let's Maybe say. Go. Don't. No. So that's what Bartleby had to say. My, how odd. Okay. Not the outcome I was quite expecting. Headmaster Ambrose scratches his head, thinking. Bartleby used to have two eyes. Gifts from his sister, Lady Nightstar, the grandmother of Ravens. Grandmother's Raven is Lady Nightstar? They were called the Eyes of Time. One showed the past and the other the future. Recently, Malastare stole the Eye of History. Now, Bartleby can't remember things. I will have to think upon Bartleby's words about Malastare. Things are so dire, I must be sure to choose wisely. There will be no second chances. Okay. Maybe it's enrollment. Wait, it is, because then he's going to tell you to meet the professors. Uh, my apologies for the excitement, young wizard. There are forces at work making things uh, disorderly. Welcome now to the Ravenwood School of Magical Arts, young wizard. Now, on to your enrollment. There are seven magic instructors here in Ravenwood. You should visit each of them to get to know them better. You can use your compass to find the Ravenwood Tunnel. The main schoolhouses are there circling the great tree, Bartleby. Return to me when you're finished. All right. So we're off to a little rocky star, guys, but we finally made it back. Yep. Back on track. And it says we get a new spell and a training point, so that's pretty good. Um, oh, we talked about Arthur. Spell. Hey, Arthur, how's it going? Jolly good to meet you, new student. Allow me to introduce myself. I am uh, Arthur Weathersfield. I'm originally from Marleybone, which is a much different world than this. As a lad, I was always interested in magic, but they don't practice magic in Marleybone. When I got older, I spent many years studying here in Ravenwood. But for the past ten years, I've been in Crocotopia. I came back to train students in a form of magic called sorcery that deals with the balance of all things. It is more advanced than the other schools and harder to master, but its power is unbelievable. Come by later if you want to learn more. Cheers! I think he has a very interesting background. Why do we go straight to death? Have you come looking for the death school? Well, you found where it used to be. This gate. All right, we're back. Here, I instruct students how to be powerful pyromancers. But fire can be quite dangerous. We must not be rash, lest we destroy that which we mean to achieve. Come see me after you have finished your tour. I'm always up <laughs> for fanning the flames so students can learn to, more Lydia? about pyromancy. Uh, nice. Lydia. Oh, I know all the words. Ice? No. Balance? Storm? Really? You know storms better than most. But... Welcome, dear. 
I am Lydia Greyrose, your ice magic professor. Ice magic, or thaumaturgy, is not for the impatient or flighty. My goodness, no. You need to study hard to learn ice magic. But I'm sure you will be great at it. And I'll always offer a hand if you need it. Lydia is very heartwarming. Come see me later when you are ready to begin your Lydia, lessons. Ice teacher. You have much to learn from ice. Hey, it's my teacher, Melinda. Did you already speak to her? No, I'm going to Melinda now. Wait, you already talked to him. Let's talk to him. He didn't tell me to talk to him. He just says talk to Melinda. Wait, what? I just went into the storm school because you did, and then it changed. That's weird. Ah, a new student. Welcome to the School of Storm, also known as Divination. For those who have chosen to master this magic are known as Diviners. I am Professor Halstrom Bellstrom, Master Inventor. Oh, yes, and Professor of Storm Magic? Who can master the power of the storm lords in the seas? Anyone who could harness their creativity. You look like a smart one. Check back when you're ready to start learning how to release your inner thunder! I feel like the Storm School really could have been redesigned to look better. The flooring sucks. I'm sorry, Bellstrom. I don't care if I have another storm lizard. Okay, I don't give a crap. I really don't. Remodding your dang dumb floors. I'll give you the gold now. Sorry, guys. I Welcome, my dear young wizard. I am Moolinda Wu, professor of the School of Life. This school celebrates the living, evergreen power of creation and vitality. If you listen carefully to your surroundings, you'll hear life magic all around. Just a few notes can lift one's troubles, purify one's spirit, and restore life. Soon I will teach you how. Come visit me when you're ready to learn more. I'm your student. How do you not know me? I know, bro. Melinda Wu, I'm so broken. Well, we all know Cyrus. He's kind of a, you know, he's a piece of poop. He's that one dude where I forget about him more than he forgets about me. Let me guess. Another conjurer want to be taking the Ravenwood tour? How quaint. Yes, Professor Drake shakes his head in frustration. I wish they would send us some adept pupils for once. Hey, who you calling? Below adept pupil, big nose. Well, if you wish to attempt to learn some myth spells, come back later and I will see how well you pay attention. Now, leave me alone. Oh, good. Now you know where all your classes are held. I hope you liked all the Ravenwood instructors. I don't like Cyrus. Uh, if you want, you can wander about to see what all Wizard City has to offer. I should mention, though, uh, there have been some strange events around town. Nothing serious. Yeah, no, nothing that a promising that. wizard so like you really? couldn't handle. Really? Yeah. So, as a reward for your visiting all the instructors, here is a new spell card. Have you had a chance to visit the new pet pavilion in the commons? Dude. It's a wondrous place. It's quite easy to find. Just head towards the library. I was wondering if you might do me the favor of delivering this parcel to Milo Barker, the ringmaster of the pet derby. Have a care not to crush or drop it. <laughs> that wouldn't be at all pleasant. Headmaster Ambrose hands you a box with some air holes punched in the top. It makes a slight grunting noise when you <laughs> shake it. Please convey this item to Ringmaster Parker. Post haste. He shall reward you handsomely for your efforts. So, um, you said you got summon a minion spell? Uh, yeah. Guess what I got? What? Minor blessing. Get 60 health for zero pits. It gives it to anybody, though, so, I mean, if you need that little minor health, that minor blessing, <laughs> Quick, I need 60 to 65 health. I gotcha. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why, hello there, my <laughs> fine young friend. <laughs> Have you by any chance participated in the dynamic <laughs> yes. display that no, is the really Wizard good. City Pet Pavilion? It's a captivating cavalcade of prodigious proportions. Near this very spot are fine vendors of pets and pet provenda. That splendid structure over there is the hatchery. The Pet Derby offers all manner of enticing entertainments and delightful distractions for wizard and pet alike. 
Bro, this ain't an infomercial. What's that? You've something from Ambrose? That old rascal. Let me see what you've brought, then. Milo Barker takes the package Merle asked you to deliver. He sniffs at it, then shakes it. <laughs> from inside the box comes an outraged, muffled oink. <laughs> I'd wager my reputation this is a pickle of some sort. I'm not sure what Merle thought we'd do with it. We're overstocked as it is. How about you keep this one? Well, what do we do now? Do we just accept this quest? Congratulations, young wizard. Go to re look at all the spells in your chosen secondary school. You'll have to buy them so... in sequential order to get... Might I be of some service educating you in matters relating to pets and their profound possibilities? The Wizard City Pet Pavilion has experts aplenty. They'll yeah. merrily monopolize your concentration with a wealth of useful information. So speak, if you will, to all of them. Sir you can Nigel start with Higginbottom. my little green friend here, Sir Nigel Higginbottom. He'll tell you more. Why, hello there, wizard. You may address me as Sir Nigel Higginbottom of the Marleybone Higginbottoms. All reputation, no doubt, precedes us, I say, with no humidity whatsoever. That pets are capable of an amazing variety of tasks. This very pavilion is the ideal place to learn about him. In the hatchery, Dr. Perot is an expert in pet hatching. Speak to him and he'll explain the astonishing ways your pet can grow and change. Near here are two shops. Young Tenet and Low sell a variety of pets and pet eggs in one shop, and in the other, two ladies named Dusty and Jackie yes, provide nice. all manner of exotic pet foods. In addition to keeping this pavilion clean, <laughs> I have the honor of selling items for That's arena so tickets earned from the pet uh, derby. Go visit so each shop to learn more, and on. return to me, and I'll explain more. And you can speak with my associate, Mr. Barker. Oh, you actually gotta go meet the pet shop owners. Gosh. Oh, this better be required. Oh, a customer. Come right in. We have all manner of snacks for your pet, whatever you need. After your pet completes a training game, it will be hungry. You can reward your pet with a tasty snack. The type of snack you feed it will increase its abilities in some fashion. The exact ability and how much it improves depend on the type of snack and how much your pet likes it. Different pets like different snacks. So you should try a variety of snacks and see what your pet likes best. And you won't find a better selection of snacks anywhere in the spiral. Guaranteed. Oh my gosh, now I gotta go talk to Dr. Peru. You know, I hope we're doing the right quest. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What are you waiting for? Take a seat in the hatching machine and we'll get started. Where's the other pet? If we get experience from this, I'll be alright. Oh, told me to go talk my to mistake. Before. You're not a pet. Serves me right for not paying attention. That would have been a disaster. This is the hatchery, where pets can hatch new pet eggs. This remarkable process, simply stand on the sigil near the hatcher and choose two adult pets you'd like to use. If two wizards want to collaborate, both must stand on the sigil. Each can contribute a single adult pet. When you've both pressed the ready buttons, voila! A new egg! If two wizards work together, they'll hatch two eggs. The egg will take after one of the original pets. Which pet and which trait, who can say? Once the egg is hatched, your new pet is just a baby and needs to be trained and fed. 